Okay, so again, since each one of these terms, this one, this one, and this one, depends only on uh, one on the one variable, and they each depend on a different one, and since the right-hand side is a constant, then in order for that to be true in general, for any value of x, y, or z, then each one of these terms has to be um, has to be equal to a constant independently. Okay, so this term has to be equal to a constant. This hap, this one has to be equal to a constant. This one has to be equal to a constant. And when you add those constants up, you have to get equal. You have to basically get this other constant, minus two m e over h bar squared. If you think about it, that's the only way for this to work for any for any value of x, y, and z. Okay. And so we just write that down. So we have now that d squared dfx d squared f dx squared is equal to the constant times f of x. Now that's basically just setting this term equal to constant and then multiplying both sides equal to uh, times f of x. Okay, so uh, and we get this. The same thing for um, g and h. Okay, so now um, uh, we recognize this form for the for these differential equations. We now have a second derivative of a function is equal to a constant times that function. We've now seen that several times. Uh, whenever we see that, we know that we kind of have two choices. We can have oscillating solutions. If if c of if these uh, constant c of x, c y, and c z are negative, uh, then the general solution to such a differential equation is um, is a superposition of oscillating solutions a times sine uh, of something times x plus uh, b times cosine of something times x. Okay, so we have uh, general oscillate oscillatory solutions. If if these constants c these constants c x c y c z are positive, then we know that we have exponentially decaying solutions. Okay, or exponentially increasing solutions. So it's not obvious at this point that c of x, c y, and c z are negative, but we know that they must be because we know from experience with the one-dimensional well that um, that we have to obtain oscillatory solutions inside the box because there the potential, I mean, the energy of the uh, what we found in, in in all the things that we've been doing so far, all the potentials which we consider in the one-dimensional case, what well, the general the general conclusion is that um, whenever the total energy of the particle is greater than the potential energy we get oscillatory solutions okay and so we can write down the general form um, of these solutions here so the um, the solution in the x direction f of x is equal to some constant ax times sine n, nx pi uh, times x divided by lx okay Remember, L sub x is the length of the box, is the size of the box in the x direction, and nx is now just an uh, just an an, in, an integer that has to be at least one. Okay, so this uh, the the value of n of x goes runs from one to infinity, and then we have a g of y is a solution in the same form, but now we have a different constant, um, uh, an independent integer n sub y. And again, we have the uh, length of the box in the y direction, and the same analogous solution for h. Okay, so these are the general solutions. Um, these are the general solutions for the uh, uh, for the 3D case. Okay, uh, and then uh, so that means that if we multiply them all together, we get um, something. We get the the um, time independent part of the wave function psi of x, y, and z, and that's equal to some constant, which is just the the product of the of the um, product the of a x, a y, and a z, which again is just generally yet we haven't solved for it, and then the product of the of the oscillatory solutions in the three different directions. So these are just independent um, functions. Uh, so again, n x, n y, and n z can take on any value, um, uh, any integer value. That's, that's at least one. And um, by analogy with the 1D case, we can we see that uh, the energy eigen energies will be uh, nx squared over lx squared plus ny squared over ly squared plus nz squared over lz squared times the quantity pi h bar squared over 2m.